Welcome everyone to Brandon's 2 to 5 Minute Drill coming to you on Wednesday. How is everybody today? I know Colin Cowherd's probably arrogant and wonderful today. I know Dan Patrick wishes he's still at the mothership. I know that today was a great day and I know you can follow me on Twitter at B Harris 12 Oh, you, baby. Come and follow me and listen to all the insights of today's sports and opinions and facts going around before you could ever hear them before. Thanks for coming today. I got to let you know that on the YouTube channel, we have some advertisement that will be up. Please send my kids to college. Click on the advertisements and we'd be much appreciative. Hit us up on Twitter. Any ideas, thoughts you can have. In a couple of weeks, we'd like to have some sports memorabilia. Up behind us. I don't know if I like the team you'll suggest, but I'll put them up if you just let me know who you want. All right, let's talk a couple of things today. First and foremost, let's talk about Colin Cowherd. Well, that's about as much as we're going to talk about that chump. Pick last on the playground, think I know everything. Las Vegas is where he wish he was from, but he ain't really cool enough to live in Vegas. You know, he stays up till one in the morning sipping on martinis with a little pink umbrella because my name's Colin Cowherd and I'm always right. No, you're not. We all knew Lane Kiffin was going to do good at USC. I could go do good at USC. We all knew Lane Kiffin was a good coach. Everybody in the SEC just wanted to hate on him because he left the SEC. And SEC fans don't know any better than that they go. Oh, Lord, it's sacrilegious to go any place besides the SEC. Woo, what should you do? Well, I'll tell you what you should do, coach. You should trade the first overall pick. You should go as far away from Cole's die Andrew Luck as far as you can. He already shows arrogance. He already shows poise in the pocket. He already shows that he can throw the ball. However, can he win? Is it an it factor? Sure, Stanford went to a couple BCS bowls. Ah, self high five, Andrew Luck. But when you interview and you go, well, well, I wish I could be a number one through two seventy eight. Oh, shut your mouth. That's not what you meant. You know you want to be the number one pick, and you know what you want to start next year. Because you go to Stanford, and like Colin Cowherd says, John Elway went to Stanford. He's smart and intelligent. Nah, shut your mouth. That ain't right. That ain't right. Colts, give it up. Get some defense. Stick with Peyton Manning. Go out and get somebody else. Oh, hey, how about we get the elegant Robert Griffin III, who will come in as a mature young man, who appreciates where he's come from, isn't a spoiled, entitled person like Mr. Luck, pick somebody like Robert Griffin III, who will come and learn from the great one that is Peyton Manning. Sorry, Rod, but Peyton Manning is the truth. Now, we got some pro football this weekend. Somebody said there's some more BCS games, but I ain't paying attention to it. I'm going to watch Arkansas beat Kansas State. Not that I hope that happens, just Anybody with intelligence can see that Kansas State has zero secondary, and Arkansas does have three good receivers looking to go out on a high note as a senior. So Arkansas is probably going to win the game. There's supposed to be a game Monday night, but I don't care about that game because that game was built off of past reputation and well, all those Alabama quality wins, right? Like that quality win over Penn State. Oh. Yeah, that Penn State team that just got smashed by Houston. Oh, oops. Guess they didn't think that went through. But one and one last piece of advice to close today's show. Tim Tebow, I love you, brother. I think you're great. I think you're a winner. I can never do what you do. You're amazing. But I got to tell you, my advice to you, and, I, and this is all I can say, is if you want to use the field as your place to let God shine, which is great, which is amazing. Use it as your your church, okay? You're going to have to eventually step away from the quarterback position. Go to tight end, fullback, running back, wherever they want to put you. But use NFL as your mission field. And do what you got to do to stay on the field, brother. Because you're a great man, great man of God, and a great person for all of us to, to look at and to say, hey, he's doing it the right way. But he might not be an NFL quarterback. Now, I say that with true love. God's great. Uh, not like that Colin Cowherd says it because he just won't man up and say, 
he just don't like Tim Tebow because he's prejudiced. Now, that's all we got for you today. We're out.